Welcome to k o r a t or Nakhon Raja Sima. This ancient city is not only the largest province in Thailand in terms of area, but also a gateway to northeastern Thailand. I will show you how k o r a t is a great place to learn about rich cultural heritage. Please follow me. k o r a t was founded by King Narai the Great in 1656 during a UTI period. One of the traces we can see nowadays is the city gate called Chumpon Gate or b r a t u Chumpon. This morning, it is an auspicious time for me to pay respect to a statue of t a o Suranari or Yamo, which is located next to Chumpon Gate in the city center. Yamo was appointed as t a o Suranari by King Rama III ah. for her memory. Right. Also, so that's why we see a lot of people, both locals and visitors, come here every day yes. to pay respect to Yamo. So for local people, we use incense and candles and uh, that one uh -huh. flower to pay respect to y a m o Located in the heart of Kora City, Wat Pranarai Maharat is one of the six temples built at the time that the city was founded. It used to be called Wat Klang, meaning Central Temple, due to its location. The statue of Yamo was located here before being moved to c h u m p o n Gate in 1934. This temple is the first temple that built by King Narai the Great at the same time as he. Built the k o r a City. All right, and a lot of people told me k o r a City was founded by King Narai the Great in the UTI period, and that was over 300 years ago. Mm -hmm. For me, I mean, a lot of Thai people remember King Narai the Great as a great ambassador because at that time we sent Siamese ambassadors to Paris, to Versailles, uh, you know, for international relations. Mm -hmm. We even have, I remember, Rue de Siam. You know, the, a little street in Brest uh -huh. in wow. France. Uh, this is a great honor that Thai people uh, have been given by by, by French government. Mm -hmm. Built in 1679, Wat Boon is located to the east of the city walls. The temple name Boon comes from Burapa, meaning the east. Fourteen ancient Khoi books or Sumut Khoi are well preserved in perfect conditions here. Khoi books are a type of folding book manuscript widely used in many Asian countries, in which Buddhism is main religion, including Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, Myanmar, and Sri Lanka. Three of the Khoi books here contain gorgeous Thai paintings telling the story of the previous lives of the Lord Buddha, as known as the Ten Jataka Tales. In the same area, we will find g u t i n o i an ancient Thai house with unique architecture that cannot be found anywhere else in Thailand. So what s a l a l o y Literally, it means floating pavilion. Where, where does the name come from? Uh huh. Because people believe that Yamo just build a little pavilion okay. and put on the banana leaf cup. Right. At that time. At that time and floating in the river. Okay. When the cup stop. At somewhere, uh, she will build a temple there. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. So the cup stopped here. Yep. By the, the river cup nearby. Here by the river nearby. Okay. Half of Yamo's ashes are embedded in a small stupa here, and the other half are at her main statue in the city center. 
The temple's award-winning ordination hall from the Siam Architect Society was built in 1967. It holds a large gleaming white Buddha image in Calming the Ocean poster. So when we're here in Isan, or northeastern Thailand, mm -hmm. we have to try these dishes. Yeah. Right. What are we having now? We have kanong jin and curry. Kanong jin. Uh, we got rice, rice flour, flour noodles, noodles, and and some curries. Yeah. This area Padok is well known kanong jin making okay. in Kora. Oh, so, so that's why the sign says kanong jin Padok. Yes. Ah, and we have. Lab, lab. Right? Mm -hmm. lab, the mint pork spicy yes, salad. Spicy salad. Is that stuff? And this Is one. Must try. Some uh, dam. Dam. Uh, okay, yeah, salad. Uh -huh. But they put some sauteed eggs yes, sauteed. on the top. Okay, and sometimes they have with grilled chicken, but sometimes they have fried with chicken. Fried chicken. Okay, yeah. I'm so hungry. Let's Me try. too, let's try. <laughs> How does they delicious? In Isan. Ah, Isan style. Sap ili. Sap ili. Yeah, sap ili. Sap ili. Next, we're heading to Pimai Historical Park, which is an hour drive from Korat City Center. The ancient city of Pimai dates back to around 1,000 years ago, or since the time of the ancient Khmer Empire. Now, the place is under a good care of Thailand's Fine Arts Department. When I enter the park, I feel something similar to Angkor Wat in Cambodia. It is a classic example of Khmer architecture. The architects at that time were best known for using sandstones over the traditional bricks and laterite architectures. The temple was built to resemble the universe. There are many lotus-shaped roofs representing Mount Meru. Boom, this is very interesting. The first building that we found when we enter is the place where the king and the royal family members change their attire. Wow, I really love the floor. It's wooden floor. Very easy to walk, very beautiful, and well blended with the, the site. It's great that we can explore around by walk. Mm -hmm. And especially on weekdays, I don't see people. Yeah. It's really, people. really good. Mm -hmm. Now, now is the time. Do you not know what's in your soul that keeps telling you inside? So this place is 1,000 years old? Yes, it's 1,000 years old uh, at the same time as Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat in Siem Reap? Yes, wow. it's the mark one end of the ancient Khmer Highway in the past. Right, so that, that if you draw a line from Angkor Wat to yeah. Phi Mai, uh -huh. it's like uh, along the way there'll be a lot of sandstone Sand castles. Yes. Yes.
Bayan Tehia is tapped at about 350 years. Oh, that old, since the UTI period. Yeah. But what I've heard is that it became known to the Thai people when Sundar Pasi, Patinantra, Paramaratinath, one of the queens of King Jolongkorn, visited here mm -hmm. over 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. And then I saw the pictures of King Bumipon. Mm -hmm. His Majesty and the Queen uh, came here in 1955 yes. to visit local people in Isan area. Mm -hmm. Wow, so I think it is not only a natural wonder here, mm -hmm. but also has a lot of great memories for the Thai people. From Pimai, we're going to Pak Chong to find a compilation of colonial and traditional houses which have been bought from various regions of Thailand and restored to their original beauty. I have a chance to meet with the owner today, Kun Ok, who will tour me around this amazing place. Kun Ok would like to showcase this place as a living museum, which will serve not only as a place for learning and admiring objects of the past, but also as a place to be lived in and to experience the bygone era. Kun Ok has a genuine interest in Thai history, especially that of the Ratanakusin period. You will find furniture, antiques, books, and photographs not only of Thai origin, but also Chinese, Vietnamese, Indian, Burmese, and European. This is a place where we can hold special events such as exhibitions and wedding receptions, or simply stay in one of the exclusive accommodations surrounded by the beautiful great mountains of Khao Yai. <laughs> 